All right, this is Andrew with Jota Home Inspections. We're doing a sewer scope today here in Farmington. <clears throat> we are at 1311 Citation Drive. We've got the camera pushed out 114 feet to the city connection. Now we're going to pull it back and record it and see what we find. Alright, so this first connection point is called the nose on. This is where it goes from your lateral line into the main city line. Looks like a good connection there. You'll notice a little bit of running water still. I was running water from the kitchen sink to help, or the kitchen faucet rather, down the kitchen sink to help push my camera out all the way to the city line. A little bit of running water is okay, but standing water is not okay. So you're starting to see a little standing water on the screen here. You can see the waste swirling around and not flowing out. This is a little bit of a belly or a flat spot. Um, the issue with a belly or a flat spot is it can hold waste, and then waste can get stuck and settle and create a blockage, which could lead to a backup in the future. Um, as I push the camera out, uh, there was some waste stuck in the line. It looked like a piece of toilet paper or a wet wipe. Uh, probably a wet wipe. Toilet paper usually breaks down and whatever this was we got stuck on my camera head and I couldn't see much as I pushed the camera out. Um, not a horrible one, but I mean it was enough to get a, a wet wipe to get stuck. Um, you always want to avoid wet wipes. I'm always telling people, even with a small belly like the one in this line, it can cause waste to get stuck. This was a good example of, of that. You know, I wouldn't necessarily expect waste to, to get stuck with a small belly, but it can, and it did with this line. Um, I was able to get that, that, you know, singular wet wipe pushed out with my camera head. The only way to really permanently fix a belly or a flat spot is to dig it up and re-slope it. It's real difficult and costly. You can risk it and just leave it. I would at a minimum recommend getting insurance on this line so that if you do have a backup they could uh, come and that would help offset the cost. I did finally find an access point for this line in the crawl space. Looks like you have one outside as well that I could see on my camera, but it's likely buried. I walked around and I couldn't see it outside, right there. So you do have one, but not one that we can access. And then it transitions to ABS. We were looking at mostly PVC, but now we're in an ABS section of line. This is the black pipe that you have down in the in the crawl space and inside your house. So just to recap, overall it looks good. Um, biggest concern with this line is definitely that little bit of a belly where it's holding some water. Again, it's I'd consider it to be a smaller one for sure, but even this one can and was holding some sort of waste. Um, it looked like it was only a wet wipe. I didn't see anything built up around it, which is good. But the only way to permanently fix that is to dig it up and re-slope it. I, like I mentioned earlier, I'd recommend at a minimum getting the insurance on the line. I'm going to end this recording now.